Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how can you fix your bad lighting or improve it with the power of AI in DaVinci Resolve 18. Just like this. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let me show you how it's done. Uh, this process is quite taxing on your computer so uh, first things first i recommend you to create some proxies uh, the way to create proxies in davinci resolve you'll find a video in the description very easy very fast i'm using proxies for this um, anyway and also check your playback settings over here use proxy proxy prefer proxies time proxy resolution half render cache smart and delete render cache you don't need this for now okay this will make your computer run much faster so let's begin um, i've seen a lot of youtubers showing the relight effect in davinci resolve in the edit page which is quite insane for me because you don't have any controls over this effect in edit page so let's do it the right way in the color page so go to color page and select your clip over here so we're going to start with the beginning right so i need to tell you that relight is an incredible effect that will help you light your scene after it's been shot it's quite incredible but for this you only can use this effect alongside the depth map otherwise you will have the whole frame affected by the light so that's why we need to create depth map and that's why it's wrong to use real light in the edit page because you don't have the control um, for this okay so first things first go over here and make sure you've got the open effects overlay selected click on it so now we can see every effect you will use so okay so let's go to effects over here on the right hand corner click on effects and go on search and look for relight all right here it is we found it so you always have to put the relight effect in before your grade okay just like this okay so now we can see this is the effect so this is the uh, relight map preview if i toggle this off toggle this on you can see where the effect is taking place okay so let me quickly show you what other effects we have so we have the directional where the direction of the light you see it affects the whole scene you might use it sometimes okay and then you have the spotlight effect which is pretty cool this is the spotlight effect you can make it drag it um, up or down you can make the effect smaller or with less intensity or you come closer to the subject and he has a very high intensity pretty cool i mean you can play with all these effects but i think most cases you would want to use the point source so the point source if actually looks like a real light in real life okay so these are our three effects you can play with it these are the properties surface properties light properties uh, light position advanced options we don't need to go into this just yet we'll um, have a look at them later but what's very important to know about relight is that relight doesn't work alone for this we need to create our depth map otherwise look what's going to happen What's happening is that the whole frame is affected by this, but I want only my subject to be affected. You see, if I put the Relight Map Preview, you see everything is affected. Okay, so let's fix this. For this, what I'm going to do, I will have to go to my Effects over here, right? Click on Effects and go to Search and look for Depth Map. So first things first, what we're going to do now, we will have to remove this arrow from here and we will have to put in place our depth map. For this, you have to drag this arrow from here, get it here, we'll get it, we'll get it back later on and connect it to our color so we can see what is going on, all right? So here we are, here we are our depth map, so we need to um, have this separation between our subject and the background in order to work. For this, what you have to do, go to adjust map levels. We need to get our subject, all right, very well separated. So, okay, so far limit and the near limit, our subject needs to be in the white. So we have a very good separation in order for this effect to work. Then the near limit, okay, near limit, just like this. 
maybe even just like this yeah that's that's good so what we need to do once we've got our depth map okay we can remove these arrows from here get the depth map here connect the green dot here get this onto the second blue and get the green one and connect it to the red light over here and now look what's happening get the green one there connected to our color and now we can see our effect working only on our subject so have a look now what's changing on the screen so if i get my light here you can see the light goes only on my subject you see our background is not affected at all quite incredible okay so let me turn off the relight map preview and you see so now if i put the relight off you see and I'm back on again and this is it friends thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got some value out of it and if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing it really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even better videos just like this thanks so much guys and i'll catch you in the next one take care bye bye